Hello, spiritual beings. So, I'm just going to be honest, my next video wasn't supposed to be an altator at all. <laughs> Not at all. Um, but I did switch up my altar finally, and I wanted to share it because I do like to share it just to keep reference to it myself as well. And it's really cool. <laughs> of course, I think it is because it's my altar, but um, yeah, I think I think it's really cool. So, um, yeah, so I recently purchased this desk from an antique dealer that I found on Craigslist of all places. Um, it's I can't even see it because it's kind of dark. But I wanted to show off my lights. So that's it right there. It's like a light purple. It has a middle drawer. And I'll go over the drawers with you as well. And then this side. And then these are my cool lights. So I've had this light for the longest time. And then these lights are new. And I got them from Amazon. Nothing, no like cool story. <laughs> I just was like, I need some more lighting that is rainbow effect. <laughs> so that's the story. It came within two days time. So that was great. Um, <laughs> but right, right on the same day, actually, I picked up my desk, which, uh, which I timed that purposely. So, <laughs> so. Um, yep, so I got these lights, um, and they're all actually, they run, I didn't even know this, they run off the same uh, remote control, so I've actually got two remotes now, but yeah, I have them under each one of these. These are actually um, plant stands, but I use them as like um, pedestals for my higher beings, which I can go over, and it off also offers more room underneath too, so which... I need, of course. <laughs> so I'm going to start from the top. That, and I'm actually going to fix the lighting here real quick. So, there we go. So that right there is one of my paintings. And then right here, let's fix this lighting too. There we go. Right here is... Um, something I actually got from the thrift store, but it was still in its original packaging. And it's just like the moon phases, and it's really cute. It's five bucks. I couldn't turn it down. And, of course, my favorite pagan ritual that ever happened, the Last Sapa. I love that. Found that at a thrift store as well. Um, I painted it the hot pink. <laughs> you probably already knew that, but... I feel like I should, you know, I like to upcycle my stuff. So if there's a project that I can incorporate, I will. <laughs> and then I've had these for ages. These are um, little shelves from Five Below, actually. I got them a long time ago. I used to have three. Now I have two. They work wonders. They give kind of that temple feel that I'm looking for. So I like that. And then I have a poppet that I always work with that's of somebody very special to me. And then this is my chime. I have a chime rather than a bell. Um, a couple days ago this happened though because my risers are higher. Um, so I didn't uh, take that into consideration while I was doing my work the other day. And oops, but it works just as well. So, and then have, of course, that light I was talking about, my original one. And I have my pentacle. And that is an oracle that I pulled. That right there, the green thing, is um, the holder for my incense for my offerings. It's my offerings incense holder. And then the blue rose, which represents miracles um, and the impossible. Some bells, one of my little worker poppets. This is Sal. Say hi, Sal. <laughs> He's so cute. I always think my puppets are so cute. So, <laughs> all right, let's go right down here because we are naturally on this side. So this is the first pedestal that I have on. I guess on this side, it's the first pedestal. Or however you look at the altar. So this right here is my god candle, as you can see. It is gold. 
and all this stuff I had before. So I had this candle holder that's um, the chalice. And God to me is the universe. I think I said that in my other video. But as you can see, I've got rocks painted for him. I've got this little crystal ball of the universe. I don't even know if we can see how much of the universe that is. My prayer, some of his crystals, and then we go right into Jesus over here. <laughs> oh, yeah. Jesus and the Mother Mary. There's my little rosary that goes right down. And that is um, some special oil that is from Jerusalem. It's Rose of Sharon. And I actually use it a lot in my practice. And then this is just a little piece of milky quartz I found on one of my travels. And I painted the back. It's kind of sky paint a lot of the stones I see or find I should say and then Jesus's chalice I got all these chalices from a thrift store except for the one I have from mother nature which I had um, it's like a shot glass which I'll show you I'll show you what it looks like so I don't even need to describe it but yeah those are Jesus's crystals I believe I've got I think it's called Kalahari desert stone, some amber, um, and some petrified wood because Jesus was a carpenter. And this chalice, I think I showed you that. And this is my anointing oil for all of my, um, I guess, higher being candles. And then we'll just go to the middle. So this is our elements right here. Um, the elements I don't have, they're not like a higher being to me. They're just something I bring in. Um, so it's just, uh, where I greet them and have them at my altar. So I have, um, earth, of course, air, fire, water, and then spirit in the middle, which I did. And then a bunch of pointy little quartz crystals. Oh, I really love this shell. I found a bunch of those. I only have one left, um, but it kind of looks like a butterfly. And then that's the closest thing to a hagstone I've ever found. I'm so proud of it. So I know that many have found like really good hagstones, but that's, I haven't. And it's not from a lack of going to the beach. It's from a lack of finding hagstones. <laughs> just can't find them so I was very proud and risked my life actually just so you know <laughs> to get that stone <laughs> but it's mine and I love it <laughs> and then uh, this right here this is my third and final pedestal so this one is you know uh, mother let me clear that up mother nature's candle and there we are. That is Mother Nature. I know a lot of people know her as Gaia. I just call her as I see her, which is Mother Nature for me. Um, but that is fine. However you want to describe her, that is good. And then this is a little shot glass that I had. Um, but I gave it to Mother Nature because I didn't think of any better chalice than that. I just thought that was so beautiful for her. And then her stones. I got this from a little witchy shop in... Salem. Oh, I wish I could remember her name. I think it's Lorelei. Yeah, she is a really cool witch. I really like her. I really look up to her and I was in her store and I purchased that and I knew exactly where I wanted to put it. And then this is just a candle holder I've had for oh, ages now, probably seven years. <laughs> and that's just Mother Nature's candle. And I stick like little um, false flowers, I guess, or what have you on there so this one has a little pink one now but I, I do change them out and then this really lights up so this I'm sure was a Christmas decoration but this is um, of course of my guardian angels which I do believe in guardian angels and she lights up um, kind of goes through the motions like like the rainbow effect that I have I kind of have a lot of that on my altar which I love um, and Dame it angels angels <laughs> angels come in all different forms to me so angels can come from anywhere they could have existed 
They could have not have, have existed. They could have been somebody who was related to your friend or somebody you've never met at all who is just kind of assigned to you or has found you intriguing in some sort of way and wants to protect you. So um, to kind of mimic that feel, I have all kinds of different angels on here to represent just how um, different they are and how unique and special each angel is. And, and none of these represent a specific angel for me, um, just my guardian angels and acknowledging and recognizing that they come in all different forms. So I even have the little amethyst angel there and that's a amethyst angel ring that it just was a piece of amethyst I found that looked just like an angel wing and I was like yep mine a little prayer box my prayers to the guardian angels and that's their candle Dollar Tree's finest <laughs> and then that is my little angel chalice right there and they're all filled I keep them filled because they can always come visit me whenever they want um, and I always make sure their cup is full and um, we have libations whenever I fire up the altar. It's a party every single time. <laughs> so going right on down the line here, right on to the main part of the altar. And as you can see, there is no room for anything else. And that's okay because people have told me, you, you have a lot of stuff. How do you work on this altar? It's just everywhere and I don't work on this part of the altar that's the part of the altar that is just the altar it is supposed to be just functional as far as holding my sacred items and it's supposed to just be filled with those sacred items um, charging them on the altar so it is supposed to be clustered like that <laughs> it's supposed to be this way <laughs> So all my crystals, of course, I got some Van Van oil there, right there. Some of my magical eyes, um, a clear quartz crystal ball, Hi John the Conqueror. This I keep little, um, I guess, spells and stuff or things for spells. I use these sort of like runes. They're not really runes. They don't have a lot of runic stuff on them. Um, but they have a lot of symbols that mean something to me. So I definitely have a lot of these. And these were easy to make. I got like the different ones. Like it came in like this rainbow package. I think I got two of them from the dollar store. And then I actually wrote on them with Sharpie. And then I took like the um, glossy Mod Podge and just painted over them. And they were done within a half an hour's time. And Manon doesn't know how to shut off his computer, so <laughs> you're going to hear the bloop, bloop a lot. <laughs> and that's my crystal ball I found at a thrift store, and I absolutely love it. And oh, that's my charging station, so it looks weird that there's just a plate with a bunch of rando, like, stones and crystals and stuff. Um, but I changed those out. You can see the little bowl crystals there and I actually charge my spells that I do in there So when I'm done, I put whether it's a poppet or a spell or whatever in there and Get all the different uh, energies flowing through it and surrounding it and Then a little abalone shell. I used to have that in an old perfume like um, It was kind of like a tray that hold, held perfume bottles, but it was too long for what I had to do here. So I went to one of the metaphysical shops over here, which I just found a couple weeks ago, the Bohemian. Apparently it's been there six months. Super awesome store. <laughs> Love it. I'm, I'm like, they must think I'm a stalker because I'm like there a lot now. <laughs> They're like, oh, she's back. Um, but yeah, you know, honestly, like we have, I'm so blessed because I live in New England in a city and I'm like about 45 minutes away from Salem and even around here within a 10-15 minute radius I have a half a dozen metaphysical shops that I can go to all offer different things so I'm very very blessed to have that <laughs> because whenever I'm looking for something I am never like frantic about finding it because 
I'll always have options and then I can always scoot down to Salem if I ever needed to, but I really don't, honestly. I just go to Salem for fun. And it's tax free here too. I should say that. <laughs> um, I live in New Hampshire. So New Hampshire, I think it's New Hampshire and Delaware, I believe, that are the only two tax free um, states. So I get all my metaphysical stuff tax free. I know it sounds like I'm bragging, but I am because you should move to New Hampshire. It's really cool here. <laughs> but uh, yeah, so I've got little stones that I use, like they're stone chips for my poppets. They're kind of stuck in there. I'm trying to get a like good look at them, but to be honest, I can't. So it is what it is. So this is the middle. These are like little mini workings and altars that continue to go on. Those are very private, so I won't be pulling them out. But those drawers I got from a thrift store, it looked like a little boy's trinket box because it had like baseball stuff on it. And I knocked like the baseball hat and baseball like bat off of the top of it. And then I really like the like the green and the wood. And then I just, um, over the drawers, I just put some fabric that I really thought was really pretty. And there you have it, upcycling. <laughs> and I think that find was like $3, really. That was like a steal for me. I'm like, yeah, I know just what to do with that. And that um, egg has right there has Theban, um, the Theban, some of the Theban alphabet actually has, will you marry me on it? Um, and gave that to me when he proposed and my ring was sitting in it and I just absolutely adore it. It sits on my altar. There's all my prayers from 2021 back there. They sit back there. Um, and I'll soon have 2022 <laughs> uh, when that rolls around. And then those are all my little heart-shaped stones, a uh, big amethyst, another kind of quartzy stone there. My tree of life, again, stones that I found that I painted, that is the tree of life. And then a selenite. I work a lot in blood magic. So you're going to see that. Um, so blood magic, that is actually not real blood. I don't you think I'd like, you know, bleed myself here. Um, so that's mostly, I want to say mostly fake blood. It's got um, uh, fake blood fixings like corn syrup, a bunch of red food coloring and a couple drops of blue food coloring to make it like look like authentic blood. And then three drops of my own blood and then it's enchanted. So, and then those are all my prayers so far this year. I keep in this jar, rainbow bright, and her eyes are beautiful today, must I say, as they are all the time. Love that rainbow bright. Which is holy water. My working candle, which turns into all kinds of different colors and droops so beautifully down. This I got from a thrift store, this candle holder and it was beautiful to begin with and just with the different colors I'll never take that off I just think it's so pretty my crystal chalice that I got from a thrift store real crystal and some really cool stones around it this is where I do my work right here this is all the room I need um so I pull out two tables which I'll show you and I put all the stuff that I need for the working on one table and on the other table I put my grimoire so I could flip through it, read it as I need to. And all my working's done right here. This is all the room I'll ever need to do working. As many who have done workings know, you don't need a lot of room for the actual work itself. So, And this, um, this little cloth I have on here too, by the way, is from Walmart. I had it. I had one like it on my last altar, but I loved it so much I went and bought a new one for this altar because the other one just wouldn't fit. I cut it up in weird ways and it had it was time to to move on with that one too because it had a little, it done its job. It had candle drippings and oils and all that stuff. So it was time to get a new one. So whatever, it's five bucks. <laughs> and then I've got some waters back there. Actually, one of them's out right now. I have to get some ocean water. The one with the shell is ocean water. The purpley pink one is um, new moon water and the clear one is full moon water. I've got a lot, <laughs> like a collection, I would say, of essential oils. 
my Ganesha back there, um, my Aragorn Pyramid, and the red stuff back there, that's actually rose water. More crystals, my Amore, which I got from Botanica, which is one of the met metaphysical shops here. My Amore oil. I've got this stuff right here, which is Prosperity Ink. Never used it. I thought I would have yet to use it, though. Got it from Salem, a store in Salem. I can't tell you which one. I just remember getting it from Salem. I got my wand right here. Bunch of eyes again. A bunch of crystals. Pine, which I went to go purchase it, and it didn't have a price tag on it. And the lady's like, it's $23. I'm like, whoa, really? But it's potent, and it's pine. So, <laughs> um, yeah. And then I have my little bed for my... It's, it's a clear, um, the name of this pendulum is escaping me. <laughs> it's a clear pendulum, but I think you can see it. And then I got a pink cauldron. I love my pink cauldron. So that's everything on the top. And I'm going to just go through um, my drawers real quick. This is one of the tables, like I was talking about. I have them on each side. I'll go over this side too and I pull those out here and it's just to make it more compact when I cast a circle I put my book on this one my grimoire and then on the other one I put all of the fixings I need for whatever I'm doing that day and then under here this is my invisible chair that holds my grimoire which I think I'll do in my next video I've been wanting to do that but I'm like oh my grimoire is never perfect enough when will it ever be? It's a, <laughs> it's it, you're forever working on your grimoire. So I have all of my cards, different types of cards, my dog parts, my mortar and pestle, my oil burner, um, my black mirror, my purple mirror, all up at the top. A bunch of my big herbs, my wine for libations. This is um, something I light up as extra offerings for. Um, my higher beings, the books I always use. I have a lot more books than that at my altar, which are these. These are good references. And then my spirit board. And then let's get into these drawers just real quick. So this drawer right here is candles. Candles mostly. I'm going to actually put back that. Remote control. There we go. So basically candles. I've got my birthday candles, which birthday candles, you know, are like my bag for spell work. And then chime candles and other random candles. So that's all right in here. And then on this side, I have actually, this one's my most random one. I have a lot of dishes that I use in my spell work. Some extra Palo Santo, dragons blood, um, sage, paper, pens, little spell bottles, and I got little spell bottles in there as well, like tiny, tiny ones, and then some little shelves, and I believe I have some bags in here too, some coffee filters that I actually use for spell work as well, to make like little satchels or whatever, I use that, <laughs> and then all of my Baby, a baby doll, of course. More paper, baby bones, bigger baby bones. Glitter to make my babies pretty and more poppet hearts than anybody in the world could ever need. Believe it or not, I used to have a cardboard one sort of similar to this that was the same size and I used it all. So I do use them. <laughs> I've made a lot of poppets in my days, let's just say that. <laughs> But there's a lot in here. I use it, so I'm okay with it. More doll stuff. This is more of like fabric dolls. Paper dolls are in here. Um, this I use for dolls as well. Um, dolls, dolls, fabrics down here. Sewing stuff in here. Uh, I think I said my paper dolls are in here. I did. Twine. All that stuff. And then... Over here, I've 
got my incense. So a lot of incense. I got my backflow incense, my cone incense, and my stick incense. And then this is for cone incense. The backflow incense burner is down there, as you saw. And this is this is two drawers, but it's actually one. And that's where I decided to put my apothecary. And I have a lot. And it looks like I can fit more. I probably could, but then I'd never be able to find anything. So I have a lot of different herbs. Um, I have like magical powders, herbs, and then herbs that are in bags in this plastic thing here. I'm not going to go over all my herbs, of course. I'll be here all day. This isn't really like a collection thing, and I only collect them because I use them. I use all my herbs, so I use all this stuff. I use everything. <laughs> so <laughs> I'm not just, you know, collecting things like a hoarder. I use it. So that is my altar. I hope you guys enjoyed this video. Please like and subscribe. And I know, actually, I know I'm going to do my grimoire next. So like and subscribe and I will see you in my next video.